so let's talk about that that um, that process. Let's say, hey, uh, Thomas, this is Scott. Um, I was referred to you by Joe, the realtor in Arkansas. He says I can't buy a house. How can you help me? What does that? What is? How do? What? What does that look like? What they look uh, like is the first thing. I would ask them if they would like credit counseling. And so if they say yes, our first step is for them to fill out the HUD intake okay. paperwork. So I take out, I, you, get, you send me a form, I fill it out, it goes back to you, and you review it, you analyze it, pick up the phone and give me a call, and you're like, dude, what the hell's wrong with you? No, is that what you do? No, actually. <laughs> I don't say it quite that way. <laughs> Actually, after I review their information, make an assessment, and while I'm doing that, while I'm making the assessment, I also send them a copy of what the credit report so they can review it uh, before I contact oh, them. Oh, I got you. Then once I made my assessment, then I call them up. I have my assistant call them and arrange for an appointment. What's her name again? Mindy. Mindy. She's and she awesome. is very good. So when Mindy calls and everything, makes a set of appointment and everything, and then follow up through it, the first thing I ask them if they had a chance to review their information that I sent to them, and also if they understand it, because that's very important for me to know whether they know what they're looking at. A right. lot of times they'll say they do, and get half cocked about stuff and then I have to straighten them out. And so it's good to know what you're dealing with up front. Once we go over and everything, then I explain to them what they need to do in order to correct their situation. Now, a lot of times, uh, one of my main things I tell clients, you know, if you're having credit issues and everything, it took you a good 5, 10, 15 years to mess up your credit. So, do not be in a rush and do not think just because you woke up the next day and decided you wanted to buy a house that you're going to be able to buy a house in two or three weeks. It's a process and everything. And above all, for to stop listening to what you hear that's said on the outside. Right. Yeah. Because a lot of times it's a, kind of like, if you're sick, you don't go to the mechanic. They ask them to operate on you. Right. So why talk to anyone else that's not in the field, not a professional, seeking advice for them? And so you're here to correct the problem, and so that's what we're going to do. And so that's where we start, we come up with an action plan, and then I follow through on it to make sure they're sticking to that action plan because the ultimate goal is to get them mortgage ready. Right. And the only way they're going to be mortgage ready is to participate. And when you're counseling somebody, they must understand this is uh, an 80-20. 80-20? An 80 80-20. 80 80% of the work you're going to do. Oh. The 20%... <laughs> I will do. Gotcha. And that 20% is the heavy lifting. But that 80% is different things like learn how to keep your accounts, the, your present accounts current. Start doing things to protect your uh, present uh, credit while we work on the derogatory stuff and everything and get that Got taken it. care of. So the difference is it's not like a credit repair where... This is a process where credit repair, I'm not <coughs> knocking those guys. There's, there's some guys that do some pretty crazy things out there that I don't, I don't even understand. But the, the, the reality of it is what we as an organization want to fix those people, and you're fixing them. You're fixing Correct. them for, for future, whether when, in 10 years from now when you've helped them get in the house and they're, and they're living their life, you, you fix them financially and, and, and able to make their lives better because this is facing some of these people just don't know what to do. Okay. Correct. They get in a spot and they're just like, "Holy crap, I'm buried. I don't know what to do." And with your to with your help, it sounds like to me that you can guide them a portion of the way, but it takes a lot of effort on their side as well. Correct. Do you they need to follow through. You coach them on that. Effort? Coach them on that. And go step by step. And the bottom line is, when we start, we don't finish until it's. Uh, the situation is collect. The only time when we leave a jo uh, case unsolved, that's when it's non-compliance with the client. The client just simply stopped doing it. And a lot of times uh, we do run into that 
situation because when people get to really digging and peeling back the onion on what their situation is, sometimes they feel overwhelmed and so they walk away. Well, my thing about it is if you're ready to stick through this and take care of it, I'm right there by your side to guide you all the way. Gotcha, gotcha. So you're, you're hold their hand, you'll teach them. Correct. Educate them so they're truly fixed. 